Prime Minister, it's six years since the war and there's still no investigation. We are putting together the mechanism for accountability and reconciliation. By May also, when we are took, uh, before the uh, UN Council meets in Geneva, we'll have our proposals ready. The critical issue, as far as the international community, and indeed I think as far as the Tamils are concerned, is the international dimension. Now the President said last week there will be no international involvement in this uh, investigation. No, we are not ruled that out. I'm just telling you the well, different he prongs. No, no, he has not ruled it out. He has, we have, the first, first prong is the people, it's, uh, whatever else we do that, they must find they also benefit. And that, that's a long process that we've started. But there will be so there, an there, international yes, there, let, let component. We are, we are standing by our commitment at the, uh, on the Geneva resolution. In the end, it comes down to trust, doesn't it? And trust is in short supply. We are putting it together. I don't think there's anything to be worried about, John. We are all people who fought for it. But, but we, 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 I put my neck out more than anyone else. But that that and, I recognize. And, and, and we I recognize will, that. We, we, we will get to one by May. All the doubts will go out. There is a tremendous need to get at the truth of why what the UN estimates, and I think correctly from our own evidence, 40,000 people died on those killing fields. Actually, uh, John, there were large numbers were killed, but we have a question mark as to whether it's 40,000. But we are interested in finding out the actual number. That well, I you know, when we it. produced our original evidence, we were told it was all faked. Now the government accepts that those images are true. No, no, we, we, are, we, are, we are not. Uh, I, I know the story about you and uh, the previous regime, but we are, all we are saying is the numbers. We, we know there have been casualties. There had to be a casualty in that type of fight. Uh, but what are the numbers? And we are more, we stand uh, ready with the international community to try and determine what the final numbers are. Now, last week, when it came to discussing the, dis the disappeared, the people who cannot be found, you said, well, they're dead. It's taken six years for anybody to come forward and say, there's nobody missing, they're dead. But is that true? Are you certain? that there are no detention centers there are where no, there are people... No, there are no detention centers in the north or the south. Are you, no are you certain? That, are you I'm certain, certain. Are you no? certain that everybody who I'm is certain. in any form of detention everybody, is known yeah. to the government? The 292 in detention are known to the government. And that's all? That's all. No others? No one is. The problem is that we have specific cases in which people are recorded as having surrendered. They were seen in detention one year on, but they cannot now be seen. Um, you're saying they're dead. I mean, if, they they are, they if they've not located. come home then and they're, they're not... Most, they are most probably dead. But why? I mean, if they died in detention, why? This is why the missing, the special counsel, the missing persons office and the TRC are there for. We have to find out what happened. At least people want an answer. And you're committed to that? We are committed to that. A lot of blame has been pointed towards the Rajapaksas, uh, particularly the former president and the former defence minister. Does the facility exist if they are found to have abused their power for them to be prosecuted? Anyone in Sri Lanka can be prosecuted if there has been abuse of power. That's an offence. Unfortunately, many abuses of power are not offences in Sri Lanka. It can only be investigated by a select committee of parliament or uh, by a commission of inquiry. But whatever leads to whatever is an offence uh, under the laws of Sri Lanka, yes, anyone can be prosecuted. Including them? Including them.